Andrew McCaw, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. And I've got to say I'm delighted to meet the big man himself, Thor Bjornsson, for the first time. Thor, first and foremost, how are you, big man? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Well, thank you so much for having me on your podcast. Absolutely pleasure. Thank you. Listen, thank you so much. I, I, I got to witness you doing the pads with uh, Billy Nelson. And uh, to be honest, man, you look good. You look sharp. You've got the fundamentals down, which is good. I mean... How serious are you taking the sport? I know strongman is a very, very serious sport, but now you've stepped into the boxing world, man. You, it seems like you're taking this very, very serious. I am indeed. Um, uh, like you said, you know, I come from a background where I was a professional athlete, so I know how to work, I know how to put the work in, not only in the gym, but outside the gym as well, to get as good as possible. And I've teamed up with Billy Nelson, my coach, and I'm here in Scotland, away from my... From my, from, my, from my kids and wife and I'm doing everything I can to become as good as I can with the time from I have before the fight against Eddie Hall next year. So I mean I'm taking this as serious as I took Strongman. Like I'm, I'm doing everything I can, everything in my power to become as good as possible within the time from I have. Obviously you're getting hit in the face but they're both dangerous sports, they're both intense sports, but what is the major difference in terms of the training side of things? The differences between the, the trainers are strong, man. You, you can still get injuries as a strong, man. You get injuries, but for you, what's, is it the cardio side of things? Is it losing the weight? What's, the, what's been the main difference coming into the boxing? Absolutely the cardio and the training. I'm training more mm. because I have to, I'll usually come in here in the mornings, I'll do some back work and mid sparring whatever my coach basically tells me a lot of skipping a lot of like all kinds of stuff There's, we never come in and do the same thing and then usually in the evenings we're running and doing some strength and conditioning as well mm -hmm. when i'm talking about strength and con conditioning is is mainly body with stuff my coach Bill nelson he finds me a bit muscular for 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 a boxer so he doesn't want me to, want me to lift any weights um and i, I like can see huge difference in my mobility, speed, and everything just since I stopped lifting weights. I have enough muscles, I don't need any more muscles. So since I started to work with Billy, he's told me, let's lay down the weights and let's focus on the things you need to work mm -hmm. on, the things you need to get better at. And I can see myself huge improvements. And the things that have been the biggest challenge for me is if I had to pick one thing, I mean, without a doubt, the cardio. Mm. Let's talk about Eddie Hall then. Uh, it seems like this fight's been in on in the making for a long, long time now. There's been injuries and, and, and whatnot. You've had three fights since, since then. You fought my mate Stephen Ward at the beginning. Uh, Valili, was it? Yep. Valili. And then you fought the, the, the arm wrestler, which was La Larrett. Yep. Yeah, Devin Larrett. Yep. Um, right now, you must be ready for... You've had the exhibitions, you've done the spawn. How itchy are your knuckles right now to get in there and face Eddie Hall? I mean, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I've been ready for a long time. I mean, as ready as I can, obviously. You, you never, like... But I'm also glad that I've had this time to prepare myself, had this time to get some good sparring in, had some good warm-up fights. Um, and I'm actually happy that I'll have even more time now, the fight, hopefully, if everything goes as, as planned, is going to be next year in Mars. So now it's just all about sharpening the tools, uh, working on my weaknesses, working on everything, basically. Everything that my coach is constantly trying to get into my head. Boxing is obviously not an easy sport. If it was, everyone would be great, but it, it's not. It's an extremely difficult sport. and. Uh, and we're doing the same things again and again, just to make sure everything is like, so just to make sure that I'm improving daily. And, um, you know, yeah, my knocks are definitely itching and, and, and I can't wait until I step into the ring. What's going to happen to Eddie Hall? I've seen on Instagram that both of you are going back and forth. There's a bet being placed as well. I'm, I'm hearing and stuff like that. So for you, what is going to happen to Eddie Hall in March? I mean, I'm obviously trained to take his hat off. I'm training extremely hard, I'm doing everything I can to knock him out. You know, knocking him out would be plus, but obviously the main goal is winning him. Like, I'm not gonna um, go in there and go in there with a street fight, my, my mind game. I'm gonna go in there and gonna box him, do the things that the, my coach has been te te teaching me, 
and show people what I've learned over the months. See, the thing is, is I've, I've said this to Billy as well, when different sportsmen and celebrities come into boxing and when they get in the ring, you can almost say, mm, they've not really trained much, they're just going in there, they're swinging crazy punches and stuff like that. I've witnessed what you've done, I've witnessed your fights, I've witnessed what you said with Coogan out in Dubai, you've said all the right things, you're training hard and stuff. Are you hoping that Eddie's taking this as serious as you? Do you think he's taking this as, as serious as you are? I, I should certainly hope so and I really think he is. I'm just worried that he's not doing the right things training wise I feel like he might this is just like I, I'm obviously not there all the time but I've seen some stuff that he's been posting online I feel like he might be sometimes overtraining and he's lifting like still heavy weights what I've at least seen online and in my opinion that's just not going to help him and that's probably one of the reasons why he got injured in first place uh, he bought it and handled all the all the workload that he was putting into his his body. I do hope that he is taking it seriously and just focusing on getting better as a boxer. Um, is that I, your control really? Isn't it? There's, there's nothing that I can do. Obviously, you know, uh, you know, I it would be a shame if we'd have to. Um, uh, delay the fight again. He said it himself that he wanted to fight me even though he got injured. Mm -hmm. So, Eddie, if you get injured again, let's just fucking fight. The people have waited long enough. Take this seriously. Stop the BS. Train smart. Like, uh, Eddie has been a f uh, pro athlete for a long time and he should he should he knows all these things and he's doing a lot of like the fish show stuff. He's doing everything he can, but is he training too much? I don't know. Like I can sit here and say yes, no, I don't know. Like I'm not there with him all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh but there's a reason why he got injured. Mm -hmm. So I know you're taking the serious like I said, but what's gonna if you beat Eddie Hall in March, are you gonna stick around in boxing? Do you fancy another fight? Have you thought that through? Have you thought that far? You know, my main focus right now is Eddie, but if you go, if I, if I, if, if I'll share with you guys what my, where my mind has taken me past that, obviously I've think about those things a bit, you know, even though I'm very focused just on Eddie right now. I'm really enjoying boxing at the moment, really enjoying it, and I'm seeing some nice progress, and if there are, are other opportunities, I can say um, that my heart says yes. My heart says I would love to do another fight. Mm. Let's see, I know we, we spoke about Tom Stoltman, the Scottish, uh, finally Scotland's got this world's strongest man. He's probably as big as you, to be honest. He's huge, he's bigger than me. Is he bigger than you? There you go. Right now he is. Uh, he, I, think, I think Tom weighs uh, 185 kilograms. I used to weigh 200. I used to be bigger. Um, yeah, he is, he's huge and he's about the same height as well as myself. If Tom decided he wanted to come into the box and he saw your fight with Eddie Hall, we saw Thor knock out Eddie Hall and he's like, you know what? I want a bit of Thor. Would you take that fight? Would I? <laughs> um, you know what? I would be, to be fair and honest, it would be a bit of an unmatch. Because um, I'll, tra I'll train Tom. You will train Tom. <laughs> yeah, I will train. Yeah, sure, let's do it. <laughs> I know what it takes, and I, you know, I've been a beginner, and I'm still a beginner. Um, the first year, my knuckles, my wrists, everything was just in pain mm -hmm. and stiff, and it would take the same amount of time for him just to get used to being punched in the face. Like the first year is just a pain, mm -hmm. constantly pain. And then from there, then on, I felt like, okay, I'm, I'm getting more loose. Okay, my knuckles are getting used to this. I'm able to punch without being in constant pain. Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest here, I wasn't used to punching a face or a back as like hard as I can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I was just always in pain. Now I'm able to... <laughs> and without 
being in pain, it was just nice for for a chance. Definitely. Oh, yeah, listen, like I said to you, what, what's your thoughts on the heavyweight scene right now? What's your thoughts on Big Tyson Fury? Man, he's he's again, he's he's a big man. He's, he's a heavyweight. And did you watch his fight against Wilder? And the, what's your thoughts on that? And Tyson Fury as a man himself, I mean, he's he's he seemed to be riding a wave right now after beating Wilder. Uh, you know, I I love what Tyson Fury is doing. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of the you know just boxing in general, mm -hmm. and um, I think that you know, yeah. What can I say? I'm 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 a, I'm a big fan of Tyson Fury. I think he's one of the greatest ever. Um, he's undefeated. You know, you can't take that away from him. You know, he is definitely, you know, at the top there, you know, as, as one of the greatest. If he invited you down to spa, probably Billy can maybe organise it. Would you go down to spa, Big Tyson? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That itself would be a huge, huge experience for myself. Um, so I would never say no to that. Just to be in the same room and to share the ring with him, I would gain a lot from that. Definitely. Well, Thor, one final word. I know you're in my country right now. Unfortunately, you're in Green Girls, which isn't the best of places. There's, there's prettier places than Green Girls. Sorry, Billy. Um, but what's your thoughts on Scotland? I've seen you went up to done some um, cold water therapy with James English up in Loch Lomond and that. So how are you finding it here in Scotland? I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm obviously very focused. I haven't done a whole lot of sightseeing, but, you know, I did the cold water, which was very nice. I really enjoyed that. I'll definitely do that again. And uh, But other than that, I'm just, you know... Eating, sleeping, training, you know. Uh, I'm very focused. I live a very simple life. As an athlete, you know, I um, I don't do a whole lot of things other than just focusing on getting a better as an athlete. You know, that's what we're all about. When you want to become a professional, this is my job, this is my passion. And sometimes the road to greatness is very lonely. But for me, I like that. I like the loneliness. That's why, you, that's why you've been well strongest man that's yeah. why you're taking the sport seriously so mm. one tip if you want to see somewhere beautiful go to my home city of Edinburgh Edinburgh is the best city shut up Billy it's the best city in Scotland so go to Edinburgh and I'll give you a few places to visit but Thor thank you so much for doing this Fight for TV and uh, if I don't speak to you before Eddie Hall fight good luck my man hey thank you so much man thank you so much for uh, talking to me and all the best to you guys take care be nice stay safe stay healthy all yeah. the best well said thank you Thor